Children enjoy their lunch breaks and the main impact from a kind of management point of view is um, raising standards because it all comes down in the end, doesn't it? To raising standards and um, the lost teaching time that we had following lunch breaks and play breaks was a great deal of time. Lots of minutes spent solving problems, hours and role-on effects of following days where retaliation would kick in um, were now the children know that the approach is consistent, the approach is fair, they know the rules, the sanctions, they know what's going to happen and they buy into the system as well and parents, everybody's singing from the same hymn sheet so the, there's no knock and effect in the classroom. Any problems are dealt with and solved at lunchtime so the teachers get on with their job, more teaching takes place, better standards of work, children make better progress and um, less exclusions. We, we've had a massive fall in lunchtime exclusions and um, that's purely down to change in the system, the structure and the approach. It was mainly when they actually went to, when they was using the swords or making the things, when it was actually going to go to a big bang on. That was what really scared me the most. When our legend on playing on the, doing things where you normally go, as a parent, can't do that. Stay, you're going to hurt yourself. In case of no, they're not going to hurt themselves, they're going to do it to their ability. And that's what we learned by doing this course. It was their abilities, it, they wouldn't do something what they were going to kill themselves. They were going to do something what they enjoyed. Like swinging on the bars. Some can, some can't, but some learn by watching other people. The impact it's had is that I don't have to spend 10 minutes of my teaching time saying you should be doing this, you should be doing that. I'm having to do less PHSE because it's actually not happening the same. They're not on the wall for anything that they've done because it's not happening. So we can get in straight away and have fun. No! Understanding is that yeah the children instead of coming back in school into, into school and thinking oh gosh we're, we're back in classrooms now they still have this buzz with them actually when they come back into school so my understanding from the teachers is yes there's been a positive uh, attitude uh, with the children when they're back in class Be because they, they haven't been stood around for an hour doing nothing and trying to motivate them when they've been stood around doing nothing is terrible but now they've been they've done their own activities uh, they've done things they want to do and they're still buzzing when they come back into classes. So yes, there's a positive attitude yeah, with the children. Yeah. Dinner ladies that are prepared to play are a good thing. Um, just a lot of understanding, you know, forget all your inabilities and just do it. Just go out and enjoy yourself. The kids enjoy it. They play better if they can see that you're relaxed with them and that you're happy to join in. Adults need to have fun and play with children. Chill out. Relax. Happy time!